Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Divinity, your original sin. Um, at, the, at the end of the last episode, we destroyed or killed off Brachus Rex. And, well, we started grabbing loot, and here we are right now. We got Brachus's two-handed axe, and I'm just comparing it right now to what Kyle has equipped. And I'm really debating whether or not to, to equip it or not. I mean, it does a lot more max damage, but the min damage is much lower, though. Because don't forget, we do slashing 67 minimum with fire 20 minimum. So we do a minimum of 87 right now with the weapon we have. This one would be a minimum of 62, but the max damage would be not much higher, but it would be higher at 157. Now we lose 1% in crit chance. We maintain the strength. We lose leadership, but we gain fire resist. You know what? Now that I see it, we're going to keep what we have on right now. Because... Um, yeah, because Brax's two-handed axe is, is not better than what we have, actually. So, there we have it. It is settled. And uh, we, we found other stuff, but I'm actually going to just keep exploring before we actually identify the cool loot that we've found so far. Let's keep looking at everything in here. I want to find everything possible. So happy that this part is done. Because this pretty much means... What's, what's this Burning Blaze skill book? Well, we might as well grab it. Uh, this pretty much means that we are ready to advance to whatever next area there is because there's nothing else to do really this lock can't be picked really wait I think you had the key right or I think I picked up a key whoa what no what are you guys doing to me wait what's what what's what's happening <laughs> what the hell happened anyways all right, Kyle. Grab the stuff that's in there. I'm getting scared. Be become invisible. Oh wait, no. I wanted that on uh, as a rogue thing. Become invisible. Well, whatever. We'll send this to Zoe. Uh, send this to Balsam. Send this to Balsam. Send this to Balsam. Balsam's gonna have a lot of stuff to do. Send this to Balsam. All right. So there. Let's keep exploring. Got nothing in there. So really, we got some pretty good loot, and I'm really looking forward to finally advancing into a different area. At least I I think we're going to be advancing to a different area. I'm not quite sure what else I have to do. We're going to have to take a look at the journal, though, to see exactly what we have to do. What's this? This is milk? Yeah, you can use milk to craft foods, and like I was mentioning in my crafting episode, I don't really... Oh, there's an inert stone. I like collecting them, actually. I put them in my bag as a collection... Just because, who knows, they might have a value later on. I, I'm not sure. I'm not taking a chance. Definitely grabbing them. Uh, okay, uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, see, this is flashing because they want us to go back to the uh, to the homestead. Something happened. So that's probably where we're going to go to next. This scares me. Is this a trap? Let's grab it. It's locked. Let's come back to it. Let's finish exploring. There might be a key. This this looks magically sealed right now, actually. Magically sealed. There's some beer here. We're going to ignore. So this fight turned out to not be as hard as I thought it'd be. It was actually not too bad at all. There is a lot of poison here. Is there anything of value in there? I mean, I really don't feel like even bothering. No, nope, that's pretty much it there. Uh, arrowhead that I don't care for. Oh, might as well grab that. Not that I care about the uh, crafting recipes, honestly. It's just better to just go online, check the, <laughs> the list online, and then figure out what you want to be crafting. Because the in-game crafting is not all that... Uh, or the in-game recipe list is not all that great to be quite honest. Oh, cool, there's more crap we forgot to grab, so let's do that. Identified amulets... Grab this one. Oh, we'll grab the steam cloud arrows, absolutely. Might as well grab the wood chips. And the knockdown arrows. I think it's an arrowhead, though. Anything else to grab here? It doesn't look like it. Let's go back to that chest. And then we will, uh, if we can't open it, we will... We will identify the stuff we found, because there is a bow, a, two, a, a, a long bow that I really want to identify. It's a legendary, and Balsam's been using crappy regular bows in this entire game. Right, this doesn't work, but I think you might have picked up a key. No, it's locked as well. 
All right, let's go back to boss uh, to attacks. See if she can't do it. I doubt she'll be able to. This lock can't be picked. Hmm. Interesting. There's crap here. No, I'm not gonna grab these backpacks. I'm I'm gonna stop grabbing things that are have you know like not crazy amounts of value because I'm running out of people to sell stuff to and it's just cluttering up my inventory for nothing right now. Um, let me see if I can't smashy smashy. Nope, can't do fuck all. Can't move this. Oh. Apparently the uh, apparently the lock is uh, confined to its location. Um, right. I mean, to me, there's probably a key somewhere, right? There has to be. They can't just leave me hanging like that. Oh wait, there's shit over here. Did I come here? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, maybe things will make more sense when we once we go back to the uh, the homestead, perhaps. I'd really like to be able to open that thing. Where would it be? I mean, I'm pressing Alt and nothing is popping. Probably in there, right? Let me do something here. Let me just try something. Let me do rain. showing up though. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it's underneath this one? No, nope, not underneath. Alright, well I'm gonna give up on trying to find that key. At the very worst I'll just go online and see what I'm supposed to do uh, to, to unlock this. It's obviously magically sealed. You need a special key obviously, right? That That's, I mean, the big lock mechanism right there is obviously magical and big and whatnots. Not gonna bother with the bone. So, anyways, all right. So, let's stop the search of the key because I, we don't want to waste too much time doing that. And let's go in the journal first because I am curious as to. Okay, so the undead scourge who dropped the key. We should report back to Arus. It dropped the key. Okay, so we'll go back to Arus and uh, see what that key is all about. And a source hunter journey thing. Has it has this town lost its mind? Yeah, no shit. Right, so we probably have to go back to the homestead. I'm assuming something will happen. We also want to go see a Roos or whatever his name is, and we shall do that. But before we even think of doing that, let me send this to Zoe. Actually, it's an arrowhead. Uh, this is Steam Cloud Arrow. Send this to uh, Belsum. Send this to Zoe. Send this to Balsam, 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 read this, unlock the recipe, good. I'm just going to chuck these books now, I really don't want to keep them. I'm not going to get rid of this uh, Brachis' weapon, I'm actually going to keep it. I know it's got a crazy value, but anything that says unique in this game, I don't know what they mean by that, but I mean, I guess it, it out, it's supposed to be better than a legendary. This one clearly is not better than what we found, though. But it might be story-related. There might be something else we need with it, so I don't want to get rid of it. Uh, Burning Blaze, we're going to sell this, actually. And uh, that's it for there, so let's go to Belshim. Start identifying. Rock and freaking roll. Identify. Is this an arrowhead? No. Oh, it's a slow arrow. Cool. Uh, we'll put you here like this and identify this. We've got a lot of amulets. We got another two-hander here that we have to identify. That's cool. Although it's going to be hard to uh, to beat what we have right now on Kyle. Pretty good legendary he's got. 
And this is the one. This is this is the one I really. I'm gonna send it to Balsam now. We're gonna do that one. Oh wait, we are on Balsam. What am I doing? Okay, let's do it now. Wow, a lot more damage. We have the dexterity required to use it properly. Um. The crit damage is the same. We get an extra perception and more hit points. Nice. 20% chance to set bleeding status. Nice. 15% chance to set disease status. 5% chance to chill. Oh, this is just by far, by far better than what we got. It's not even comparable. Gee, I wonder if I'm going to equip it. Send this to Kyle to sell. Okay, so this is a one-hander. We're going to be selling it. This is not going to be better than what Kyle has. Ooh, armor rating 20. Requires dexterity, speed, perception... And poison resist. 20 armor. Let me send this to uh, Tax. I think Tax needs more armor than Balsam in general. Can I use this yet? No, I'm not to level 10 yet. Uh, anyways, yeah, much better. We maintain the speed, we get a perception, and we get some poison resist. We maintain our poison resist, and we get four more armor. Absolutely no brainer there. Let me just send this to Balsam just out of curiosity. Just out of curiosity, is this better than uh, what she's got? No, it's not even close. So let's send this to Kyle. We'll send this to Kyle because no one's using shields. Oh, this has to be identified. Let's do that. And what does this do? Earth resist, poison resist. Right, that's not very good at all. So let's send this to Kyle. This is not nearly as good as what uh, Kyle has. So let's send it. 12 armor sneaking and sight. Nah, send to Kyle. We won't bother. So Dexterity, Lore Master, and Poison Resist. Not better. Really, I have, I think, Legendary Amulets on everybody, so it's going to be hard to actually find better amulets <laughs> right now. This is garbage. Yeah, Lore Master, nah, garbage as well. So there we go. That's it. So we really, we got the bow. That's what, I mean, I'm really happy that we got this. But Balsam was be starting to become the weak link of our party, actually. And now with this bow, this should be a game changer for uh, Balsam right now. So let's go back to town and talk to what's his face. And then after that, I'll probably go back to the homestead. And after that, I guess we're off to the new location, right? I mean, I don't, I don't see what else we we could be doing. And I'm gonna try to remember that there's a uh, there's a chest here that I have to come back to. But I'm assuming it's story related, and we will be coming back in the spot at some point. So let's go back and see uh, a rooster, whatever his name is. My friend Richards. All right. Well, there we go. Me again. So let's go upstairs and talk to uh, what's his face. So we've we've done that quest. We finished the uh, that uh, undead quest thing. So that's good. Actually, what 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 do we have left? Source hunter journey, right? The wishing brother, right? That's a little bit of a riddle. We got to find this William guy. We have to find a spell guarded by King. We we have to find King Burius. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be part of the next area. A uh, little bow, right, I have to find the sheep. Right, if we find the missing sheep we have to let her know, that's fine. The talking statues, again, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. Uh, the were sheep, legend of the were sheep, find the witch, right, that's probably in the other area. Failed experiment, I can't find these guys, I tried looking on my, when I wasn't recording, try to find these freaking idiots and I can't find them, so whatever. Uh, but I mean, these are quite, you know, this gives you experience if you do, you know, finish the quest, so it's it's always worth doing. I'll, I'll probably do that uh, at some point, so you are in the, in the cat farm. My friend here. returns! Right, we've already talked about this shit, though. No, I've already 
this is all crap I've done already, so fuck that. Let's get out of here. Uh, you know what, let's just... I'm gonna go back to the homestead, just to see if there's something there that's been activated now. Um, I don't know how the hell to open it. I hope I'm not missing out on some awesome piece of gear with that chest that I can't unlock back at the Brachus Rex fight, but, uh, you know, let's go back to the homestead. Real quick here, end of time. A little bit of a load screen. Let's do it, let's do it quickly, thank you. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There you are! In Rivalon's earliest days, man and gods lived in perfect harmony. The goddess Astarte lent her beautiful regenerative power called Swords Slowly. to all the realm. There was no injury Source could not mend, no illness it could not heal. But Astarte's curiosity was piqued by a forbidden box within her garden. Spurred on by her playmates, she determined to peek inside. But when she lifted its lid, what she saw was nothingness. An all-consuming void that had been contained in hopes that it would never infect Rivalon. Astarte had called forth the Void Dragon, whose sole purpose was to undo all creation. Immediately aware of her mistake, Astarte grabbed hold of the demon and hurled it and herself into a faraway dimension. Here she has battled this dragon for all eternity. Since that terrible day, Source has been tainted by the presence of the Void. A once beautiful power has become corrupted, and those attempting to wield it often go mad in the process. Cool. I, lo I love these cutscenes, man. They're seriously the awesome. We met is called Astarte. Alright, so more shit is happening here. Let's get okay, Source Hunter Journey. Right. We know that. That was the cutscene. Is there anything else to be doing here, though? That is the question. Let's go see what's his face. You're here now. There we go. Okay, we have to choose a theme. I'm gonna go with the ice theme, actually. Of frost. Well, I wonder who awaits you in the next chamber. I wonder what they'll say. I wonder what awaits us as well, my little friend. So let's go there. Let's check it out. We got the frost world. Oh. oh uh. So cold in here it hurts. I think my very words may freeze and fall to the ground. Oh, quit your bitching. Quit your bitching, people. All right, let's see what we get. Oh, that's her, what's her face? Come back, beautiful undead ghost lady. All right, let's talk to this guy. Let's see first of all what he's got. Okay, so he's got water essence. You know what? I might as well buy it. I want it, um, as many of these essence, essences as possible. So he's got... 
Mass slow skill book. Skill level 16, holy shit. Eight ice shards rain from the sky. What? Okay, these are like powerful. Oh, ingredient. Right, well, we might as well buy that too. This is one ingredient as well. Oh no, that's a arrow spray skill. Mute target, mute target. I mean, mute is very strong. Prevents them from using spells and scrolls. I would really like mute on balsam. These are range skill, uh, ranger skills, right? Yeah, marksman skills. Yeah, I think mute would be sweet. Being able to mute like a very strong character, man, that that would be so sweet. But I mean, the, all these spells are amazing. Slow enemies around you. This could be very good as well. A mass slow. It's level 16 though. This is level 18. Uh, create water surface. We got the rain. We don't need that. Heal. We got minor heal. Disease all, disease all enemies within an area. No, I don't care about disease. Cure blind mute disease. And, I mean, this would be excellent on... On Zoe, actually. I'm gonna buy it. We got the money, man. No, no, no worries here. 50% chance to set shield status. Ice shard. Right, we got the ice shard. Magical gain constitution. Yeah, I don't think I need that. I mean, I have to keep in mind that I'm limited on my hotkey as to, <laughs> as to how many things I can have there, right? So, Plus, uh, I'm limited to how many skills I can learn, too. So there's also that to uh, consider. I have to level up my ice again, or uh, hydrosophist with uh, Zoe once more. Clean water, cure blind... Yeah, no, we already got that. Slow a target. I mean, slowing down one target or mass slowing? What did I take here? No, this is blank. This is the cure blind, right? There's the mass slow, right? That's uh, level six, 18. No, this is eight. Uh, no, nah, this is like yeah. This is gonna replace our ice shard eventually. But we're not gonna buy it now. And slow enemies around you, right? But for now, a single slow. Slow a target. We can slow a specific target. That could be interesting. I might want to buy it as well. We'll go ahead and buy those. Uh, as far as the stuff for Balsam, I'll come back. So it's pretty cool. I'm glad I took the uh, ice uh, elemental or ice theme, if you will. So let's go ahead and sell some of our gear here. I will sell all of these. Oh no, wait. What am I doing? Uh, no. This. There we go. Okay, so let's actually sell our magical weapons. All this is garbage. And this uh, character has a lot of cash, or this uh, started has a lot of cash to give us as well. So we shall, at the very least, do this. I might throw in this as well. There we go. So we get 3k and we get some stuff. And the rest of the junk here I will sell later on. Uh, I guess I might as well give you the fire. I might as well give you stuff like that as well. There we go. Except, I'll push you here and I'll organize this guy because I... <laughs> it's bothering me, I won't lie. It's bothering me a little bit. It's like a puzzle. Freaking puzzle. Alright, we're gonna put you here like this. Uh, you, you can come here like that. You can come here like that. You can come here like that. Put you here. And put you here. There we go. Organize. Whoops. Right here like that. There we go. It was bothering me. I had to do it. So there we have it. I'll do this like this. There we go. So there we have it. We got some stuff. Got some stuff indeed. I'd like you to train me in ice magic. Alright. Okay. I'll take my leave. Uh, 
Uh, what what did he mean by that? Jog my memory. Anyway, it's okay. So we got that done. Um, you know what? Let's let's get ready to go to the next area. This episode is coming to a uh, to an end soon. Actually, let's quickly take a look here. I'm gonna send this to uh, Zoe. Send this to Zoe. Send this to Balsam. Send this to Zoe. Zoe. Whoops. Zoe. Balsam. I'm gonna have to organize my skills actually. Because I said so. I'm gonna have to figure out what I want to do with Balsam. Balsam can have I don't need the cure disease thing anymore in Balsam. I can remove that one. In fact, let's do that now. Your experience level allows you for oh, okay. Could not learn. Okay, so I have to actually unlearn something here. So let's go to Balsam. Check your skills. We will remove first aid. Cure bleeding, cripple, and disease, right? Because Zoe. Where are the skills? Right here? Magical? Right. Zoe's going to be able to slow target and cleansing water skill. Cure blind, mute, disease, and, and cripple, bleeding. This is a way better thing. It requires level 10, though. We can't actually use it now, but we will be soon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to really create Zoe to be a hell of a support character. I might actually have to remove the freezing from her? No, that doesn't make sense. I have to keep freeze. It's really good. Staff of Magus is also good because it's cheap to shoot. There's a few things I might, I might have to remove Farseer. I might not have actual room for that anymore. Anyways, we'll figure that out when that happens. But, uh, so let's close this. So let's, let's forget the first aid, right? It's first aid. Cure bleeding, right? Forget that. We don't need this anymore. Except, good. I mean, treat poison, I'll keep it for now, but I, I never use it, to be quite honest. And plus, you have to be right next to her to use it. I'm gonna forget it right now, actually. Fuck it, I never use it. I'd rather have Balsam be more aggressive than anything else, right? So let's go ahead now and, uh, click on Balsam again. Inventory. Let's learn this. Expert Marksman. Which does what? Muta target. Now that is going to be sweet. This is definitely going to help us. And what does this do? Fire multiple arrows, right? Well, we definitely want that as well. This is going to be good for damage. I'm actually going to move it here. Tactical retreat could be last. I kind of like these five skills. This makes her very aggressive, although ricochet and barrage. I think barrage only hits one enemy. Ricochet will hit multiple enemies. But barrage will do 46 to 77. Fire multiple arrows in a straight line, each dealing 46 multiple arrows. How many arrows is that, though? Each arrow will deal 46 to 77 piercing damage. Fire multiple arrows. Maybe three? So it could be three times this damage? Anyway, it's going to be a lot of damage on a single character, and we can always do ricochet to hit multiple uh, enemies. And then, of course, mute will be situational, but very useful. It's a willpower as a saving throw on that, so we'll have to keep that in mind. And, uh... Ch -ch 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 jump out of a hat. Right, tactical retreat is good. Barrage. Yeah, this is pretty good. I like this. I like this a lot. This is, uh, this is, this is shaping up to be very, very good right now. I'm liking this a lot. Let's actually remove you from here. This is what? Steam cloud, steam cloud. I don't know why I can't stack these two steam clouds. It's bothering the hell out of me. Um, everything else is fine. I'll actually put you back here. And there we go. That's set. It's for her, right? Let's go back to uh, Zoe real quick. Click on your magical. So we can't learn this. We have to be... Le oh, we can learn this. Slow currents. Slow status. Okay, yeah, I can slow an enemy down. I could have taken this early on. I didn't take it. It slows one enemy down, removing its uh, target's movement and number of action points needed to act. This could also be good to uh, screw up an enemy. I can use it now, though. I'm not sure I want to. Oh, I, ha I can learn it, though. I have plenty of room here to learn more skills. Immune to burning. Definitely keeping this. Definitely keeping rain. Strong regenerate. Absolutely. Summon ice elemental. Absolutely. There's. I'm Okay, maybe I could remove immune burning, but it's proving to be very useful, except the 5 meter range is really annoying. Besides that, though, it's a pretty good spell. 
these are very good. I mean, Bitter Cold is very nice. Although with the Ice Shard, I don't use it as much now, the Bitter Cold. But Bitter Cold with Rain comboed is really good. It usually ends up freezing the enemy you target. It's only three action points as well, which is what I like. I mean, things that don't require a lot of action points is nice because, you know, you can uh, you can do more things in a turn. Um, right, but I'm already maxed out here. I guess I can remove Resurrect Scroll. Rain. I mean, all this stuff is good. I don't know how you use a skill in combat that's not hotkeyed. I guess you have to click on her. Well, that's not the end of the world, though. I can do that. I have to remember to do it, though. I think you could do this, click on it, and then attack an enemy. It doesn't have to be hotkeyed. Okay, so fuck that. Let's do it. Let's, uh... Oops. Let's learn this one. Let's learn Slow Current. And... Right, I, I ended up going with uh, Bitter Cold instead of Slow Current, actually. What's this? Level 11. We cannot learn this yet, but we will when we can. Invisibility. I might remove Farseer and put invisi Invisible on... Honor. At some point, Farseer is going to have to come out. Although I like Farseer, it's very cheap to use. It's only three action points. It adds a good amount of range. It adds five meters of range to uh, Balsam or someone that casts spells, like Zoe could cast it on herself. I really like this spell. I mean, I never even thought of this one. It just We just found it early on in the... Uh, in the in the uh, series, and uh, honestly, I'm I'm glad it's it's actually really good. What can I remove from the hotkey though that I'm not using that often? The burn is gonna stay there. Slow current, whatever. I'm just gonna have to remember that I can I can slow current from here. I'm I'm not gonna remember. I'm gonna forget. So you know what I'm gonna do? It's actually hotkey you here. We're gonna remove the resurrect. And that's fine. So we got a hell of a support mage right now. I'm actually going to put the summon elemental here. The teleport blast. Everything that slows stuff here. This is a buffer. This is a heal. We'll do this like this. Heal. Slow current this. Rain. I like that. There we go. And now we don't have any more hotkeys for spells. But, uh, I mean, I, I haven't been using a lot of resurrect in combat anyways. So I don't, I don't think I actually need it hotkeyed. At the very you know, worst, I just click here. That's cool. Anyways, uh, this episode's been running a little bit long. I wanted to get to the other location, but you know what? We'll do that in the next one, and we will uh, start our journey and probably be entering a new region. So thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.